Good morning, boys and girls. It is Wednesday, May the 5th, and today we are going to go over some decimal division. Let's do some math, shall we? All right, so uh, it says, before you learn, a pipe was 3.6 meters long. A plumber, that's a person who works on pipes, like your toilet or your sink. A plumber cut the pipe into two equal pieces. Uh, use all of our place value chips to show how to find the length of each piece of pipe. Okay, so as I said, we are dividing with decimals. So we're going to have to make a division problem here. And let's see, we are starting with a pipe. And this pipe is 3.6 meters long. And we want to chop this pipe into two equal pieces. Equal is a very important word there. That's how I know I can divide it. We're just cutting it in half. All right, so we have 3.6 divided by two. All right, um, how am I gonna get this number? Well, it's uh, this generally works much like regular division, uh, except we have our decimal point in here. Okay, so, um, you can kind of just pretend like this decimal point is not even here, except we need to put it in at the end of the problem. So let's see how this works. If I want to do 3.6 divided by 2, here's what my problem should look like. Before I forget, I'm going to put this decimal point right here. That's going to help me out when I make my answer. All right, and then I'm going to do two divides into three one time. All right, and two times one is two. Subtract. Now we have one. Bring down the six. All right, uh, 16 goes into two eight times. Eight times two is 16. And look at that. We are now at zero and we're finished with our math problem. Okay. So uh, the answer to this should be uh, the length of each piece of this pipe is 1.8 meters. Let me put my M in here. Don't forget your unit of measurement, boys and girls. Um, and if you know what 36 divided by 2 is, uh, this will help you out a lot with your decimals, okay? 36 divided by 2 is 18. This is 1.8, okay? So we're just moving this decimal point over a bit. Uh, let's continue and see exactly how we do this, okay? Now, this should be a problem we can all answer. What is 4 divided by 2? All right, well, four divided by two, this is four ones divided by two. Uh, we are making, we're trying to make two equal groups out of this four. We should end up with two, okay, or two ones each. All right, next, let's check out this problem. What is 0 0.4 divided by two? Well, now we are doing the same thing. We're making groups here. Uh, we are just in the tenths place, okay? So instead of making uh, two groups of two ones, we now have two groups of two tenths, okay? So our answer would be 0 0.2. And finally, we come to the hundredths, okay? Now we have 0 0.04 or four hundredths divided by two. So now here, instead of two ones, we have two hundredths in each group our answer will end up being 0 0.02. Do you notice a pattern? Well, I surely hope so, okay? Uh, four divided by two, 0 0.4 divided by two, 0 0.04 divided by two. We are just continuing to go down our decimal place values there. Um, but this really does help out if we know our multiplication tables once again. Uh, this will help you make sure you know all of those wonderful things. All right. Uh, next, we have divide 8.4 divided by 2. All right. So uh, step one, let's look at 
our ones place, okay? Um, we have eight ones, and then we also have four tenths, okay? Step one, divide the ones by two, okay? We're dividing by two here. So we're going to divide eight by two. I know we all know how to do that. Yes, we should have four ones in each group. And if we are doing it like this, I think this is the easiest way to do it. Um, if you know your multiplication tables, you will never get any of these problems wrong, okay? So eight divided by two is four. You put the four up top. Make sure you put your decimal point here in your answer. Otherwise, you're gonna come up with some weird answers. And then finally, after that, after the ones place, we wanna deal with all these tenths here. We have four tenths. And as we just saw on that last page we just did, four tenths divided by two, we should have two tenths in each group here, right? So, uh, and then we would subtract out and we should get 8.4 divided by two is 4.2, all right? Let's recap meaning let's just check our work here, okay? We have starting with the ones or the highest place value, we have eight divided by two is four. And then step two, we move on to our tenths here, four divided by two is two. And make sure you put your decimal point in your answer place, okay? Up there, up top, all right? This one, uh, now we're going to divide with renaming, which is a little bit more difficult, but this still follows the same process that we learned how to divide before, okay? We have 6.12 divided by three. So we have six ones, one tenth, and finally two hundredths here, all right? So step one, we wanna start with our highest place value, which is these six ones here. All right, step one, divide the ones by three. This time we're dividing by three. That should be easy enough. Six divided by three is two. You put the two up top here. Make sure you remember to put your decimal point up top. Step two, move on to the tenths place. Divide the tenths by three. All right, so in this case, we have one. We cannot divide one by three. Uh, so we need some extra help here, okay? One tenth divided by three is zero tenths, okay? I've seen some of you do this before in math class. Do not forget to put your zero up top. It matters. So zero tenths in each group, uh, and we have a remainder here, okay? So next, we want to move on to our next column here after we put our zero. So we have the one down at the bottom. We just bring our next number down, which is a two. This is two hundredths, bring it down. And then things should become a little clearer. We are renaming and lumping these in. We now have 12 hundredths instead of two hundredths. And finally, step three here, Let's divide by three, okay? 12 divided by three is four. Put your four up top. We should have four hundredths in each group, all right? So our answer, final answer here should be 6.12 divided by three is 2.04, all right? And we can see that in this picture right here. We have two ones and we have four hundredths and we also have zero tenths. That's why it's important to remember that zero, okay? If you just put 2.4, you have an incorrect answer. Make sure you remember the zero, all right? And let's check out this kid who is good at estimating stuff. So 6.12 is about six. Six divided by three, I know that. Six divided by three is two. Uh, and uh, so our answer should be about two, two point zero four is very close to two. I think we did a good job estimating and I think our math checks out here. All right, so once again, recap, you kids should know how to do this, okay? This is generally the same thing, just 
remember to make sure you put your decimal points. And remember, if you are, uh, remember, sorry, remember to put your zero up top here. Do not miss your zero, okay? Because it matters. All right, next we have four, divide one by two. What, how can we divide one by two, all right? Well, we can, we can chop one in half also. It's just not going to be a whole number here, okay? So we divide the ones by two. We have one one, so we should have uh, zero. We cannot fit, uh, we cannot fit two into one. So we have a zero up top, and then we have remembered our decimal point. Okay, and we should also realize that uh, one one is equal to 10 tenths, as we can see here. And we can also see here, one is equal to 1.0. Now I have it labeled as 1.0. Now this makes my math problem a little bit easier, okay? Now we wanna divide these tenths by two. 10 tenths divided by two is five tenths in each group, as we can see here. And we can see here in our picture here. So one divided by two would equal 0 0.5. We now have a number that is more than zero and less than one here, okay? It's 0 0.5. So um, once again, this works the same way, except now we need to deal with, uh, just make sure that we know that one is equal to 1.0, also known as 10 tenths. I can add another zero and another zero. This is all still equal to one, okay? So if you need to divide, uh, then this will still work out for you in the end. As long as you know, you can keep putting zeros on there. All right, now we want to divide two by three. Now, one divided by two, some of you might be able to do that in your head. Two divided by three, hmm, this seems like a, a, a big problem here, all right? So um, first, let's look here. Step one, we have three, I'm sorry, two divided by three, we can fit that in zero times. Then you put your decimal point up top. Make sure your decimal point goes in the same place that it does in your uh, math problem here, okay? That it should go in the same column in the answer row. All right, so um, three times, whoopsie. All right, so sorry, uh, step one here, we want to put two point zero. Okay, now I have something that resembles 20. So uh, we should now have 20 tenths. Okay. And this goes in three times. Yes, three times six is 18 with a remainder of two. Okay, then we have step two. You need to bring down another zero here. And guess what? You're gonna end up with 18 again. It's gonna go in three times and you're gonna end up with another two here, okay? And we could continue to draw more zeros and keep bringing them down. But guess what? You will always just continue getting six and six and six. So it's important to know when to stop, okay? Um, we need to round at this point. We stop dividing at two decimal places, all right? So if you want to round, I would say you should stop dividing at three decimal places, but that's just me. Uh, you can round at this point. 0 0.66, I would probably round to 0 0.7, or if you wanna be a little bit more accurate, you could say, uh, you could say 0 0.666, or we could round up to 0 0.667, all right? Um, but I don't wanna confuse you with all this rounding at this point. So let's just do what this book says, okay? So this is 
correct to one decimal place. We have rounded this answer. Some fractions don't work well as decimals, which is why we need to know fractions and decimals. All right. Here we have divide 0 0.72 by 6. Correct your answer to one decimal place. So now they're telling you to round this to one decimal place. This is how we know when to stop. So step number one, uh, we have zero up top here and your decimal place. Okay, that should be your first step. And then uh, six goes into seven one time. And then we put six down here. Six times one is six with the remainder one. Now we have uh, to bring this two down for step two. All right, and we should end up with uh, 12, six goes into 12 two times with a remainder zero. However, they wanted you to round to one decimal place, okay? Our answer here is 0 0.12. What should we do? We're rounding, we need to round it down, okay? Because this is very close to just 0 0.1. We can just knock that two out of there, all right? So, um, 0 0.72 is pretty close to 0 0.6. And this divided by 6 is 0 0.1. Our answer seems to be correct, all right? Uh, and once again, we are rounding. So I'm sure you've all like typed in some numbers on the calculator and then sometimes you your answer on the calculator will be like 3.58497, blah, 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 blah. And it'll keep going forever, okay? We don't need to do that here, all okay, right? We want to just round. That's why it's important to round your answer to one decimal place or maybe two decimal places, all right? This will save you some time. I don't want to break your brain. Divide 5.03 by four, okay? So let's try to estimate first, all right? Uh, 5.03, all right. So I know that four divided by four is one. So our answer should be a bit more than one. Let's see how this works out for us, okay? Step one, five goes into, I'm sorry, four goes into five one time. All right, then you wanna put your decimal place, move on to the next column. This should all be familiar to you. Uh, bring down the next number, all right? So uh, in the end here, we should end up with uh, 1.25, okay? Um, and let's make sure that we understand we have a remainder here. Are we going to keep going? No, because it told us to correct it to one decimal place. Okay, so uh, our answer should be 1.3 if you round correctly. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to stop giving examples here. Why? Because I want to do some actual math problems here. Uh, just because. So these should be relatively easy. If you know what 6 divided by 3 is, we should know what 0 0.6 divided by 3 is. All right. This is the same kind of thing we did with uh, 4 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. Uh, 0 0.6 divided by 3 is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Zero point zero two or two hundredths. This is the hundredths place. All right. First, it says estimate, then divide. So before I even start, uh, I'm going to look at this. We have 6.04 divided by 2. Uh, I'm not even going to deal with those decimals. I know that 6 divided by 2, I'm going to estimate. My answer should be somewhere around 3. All right, then I have problem B here. 0 0.8 divided by 5. Mm, well, 
this seems to be about one. If I'm rounding, I would just round that up to one. So I'm going to say my answer here is 0 0.5. Okay, if I chop one in half, as we saw earlier, we'll end up with one half or 0 0.5 in decimal form. Same thing with this one here. I have uh, 0.92, which is even closer to one. So if I chop that in half, yeah, my number again, my answer should be somewhere around 0 0.5 or one half. And then finally, I've got 2.25 divided by three. Oh man, this looks to be tough. Um, I think this is about two. Um, no, I'm not so sure on this one. Well, 2.25. Let's see. I think if we know our 15s, this uh, answer will become a bit easier. Yes, 15 multiplication tables. All right. Um, I'm going to say, well, I'm not so sure on that one. We'll figure it out at the end there. All right. So let's see. Estimate, then divide. We have 6.04. All right. We sh should put this three up top here. Um, also, I'm not sure if, uh, I'm sorry. OK, I'll go back to this. I am getting ahead of myself here. All right. Um, 6.04, we have this goes in three times. Let's get rid of this six. And I know they don't give you enough room to do this here. We should maybe get a piece of scratch paper. Make sure you put your decimal point. Go to the next number. Um, if I'm bringing down a zero, I should probably put a zero up top here. OK, now I have four divided by two. This goes in two times. All right. And this should be our answer. 3.02. Hey, that's very close to three. OK, now I'm looking at this one. I'm going to go ahead and put my zero up top and my decimal point. How many times does five go into eight? It goes in one time. All right. And then we put this down. We will end up with three. All right. Now I cannot do this here. OK. I have three. And make sure that we know. Um, we can always just keep on adding more zeros over here, OK? So if I put 30 down, I now end up with 5 goes into 36 times. And then this will end up being 30. And you should end up with 0 there at the end. All right, next we want to. Uh, Oh no, what did I do here? Oh, I see, my estimate is wrong. Oh, teacher is not awake this morning. I'm sorry, kids. Uh, I was dividing by two. This should be divided by five. Okay, I made a bad estimate. Check your math. All right, um, let's move on to letter C here. Sorry about that, kids. All right, this one we are dividing by two. I think maybe that's where I got that two from. I should have been dividing by five in that problem. So our answer should be 1.06 uh, there. All right, uh, let's keep going. First off, let's put our zero up top and our decimal point. All right, and now I want to do nine divided by two. This goes in four times. Four times two is eight subtract out and bring your two down. This goes in six times, right? Right. Okay, now I have two times six is 12. We'll end up at zero there. Hey, look at that. Okay, this was a good estimate by your teacher. And uh, let's see. Sorry, I have not had any coffee yet. Let's see what we end up with here. Uh, 
I'm going to say, okay, if I'm actually estimating, I would, uh, I would estimate this. I'd change this 2.25. I would change that to uh, 2.1. Why? Because I know 2.1 divided by 3 is going to be 0 0.7. All right, now my brain's working. So our answer should be somewhere around there. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to put a zero up top and my decimal point. Why? Because I cannot fit three into two ones here. All right. So um, then we want to move on to our next one. 22 divided by three. This is going to be seven. And we should end up with one. All right, and now I have this five. I need to bring this down. Three uh, goes into 15 five times. Okay, all right. Now everything is making sense. So our answer should be 0 0.75. We are going to do some more of these in class. These seem to be a bit more challenging than your multiplication. All right, once again, estimate then divide. So just estimate first, okay? 4.8, if I know that uh, 4 divided by 4 is 1, my answer is going to be more than 1. And I can actually just figure this out right now. If I do 4 divided by 4, that's 1. 8 divided by 4, hey, that's a very good estimate. I think that's going to be correct. 3.5 divided by 7. That one also, I think I can figure out in my seven, uh, in my head, because if I know that 35 divided by seven, I know what that is. That's five, okay? Um, so I think I can figure out this math problem already, all right? Um, some of these, we might have to do some actual rounding. So 8.46, well, that's about uh, eight divided by two is, is four. So I'm going to say my answer is going to be a bit more than four. It's going to be four point something, something, something. All right. Um, same thing with uh, 9.03 divided by three. I know nine divided by three is three. So this is going to be a bit over three. Uh, 28 divided by six. If I just rounded this 28 uh, all the way up to 30. So my answer is, I'm going to say my estimate is five, but I know it should be a bit lower than five because I'm not quite at 30 here. All right. It's important that we know how to estimate these things just to make sure you know how to figure this out in your head before you start doing math and to make sure that you are awake like your teacher is and make sure uh, that you can figure these out beforehand. Okay. Make sure you know your math is reasonable. Like uh, up here, I misread this thing, okay? I was just chopping uh, 0 0.8 into two parts. And then I realized, hey, maybe I made a bad estimate, okay? And then I said, oh, what is wrong with this problem? Well, I'm not dividing by two, I'm dividing by five, all right? That's a big problem. So make sure you know how to check your work, all right, kids? We'll finish this up in class. Uh, and I'm going to give you some more homework on quizzes that will uh, test your skills on things like this. That's all for now, boys and girls. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.